Got it open. Now, once it's open, I put it down and I put on my gloves, okay? Protection, protection. Because I don't want my fingers getting burnt. As you know, my birthday is right there. So I want my fingers like uh, intact by my birthday. All right? All right, so hi, Robert. All right, now I get my bleach back. Then I empty it into this small mixing bowl that I got. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm going to use two packs of the Paul Mitchell Blue Lifter Bleach. All right, I opened the first one already. There I go with my second one. Because, yeah, you see my hair, like, it's short, but it's very coarse. My hair is very tough. So there you go. I empty my bleach into this little bowl. Now, I prefer to use the 40 because my hair has been natural for a while now. Okay? And I intend to um, leave it just like that. Hi. Hello. Thank you for joining. Hey, sister-in-law. How are you? Okay. So I shake my... And remember, this is Paul Mitchell as well. It's the same like the bleach that I used, okay? I like consistency. I don't like to mix different products. So you shake it very well. And then, obviously... I think I will go with the third one just because I don't want to start applying it and then it's not enough. So i rather there is some left than it not being enough, okay? So I will slit open the third package, empty that in the bowl as well. So now I have three of the blue Paul Mitchell lifter creams, I mean um, bleach powder. Now there you go with my volume 40 Paul Mitchell Ultra Maximum Lift Bleach. Okay, so let's do this. I'm doing it with you guys at the same time. So whatever happened, everybody gets to see it. Marcus, yes. give me a towel, please. Yes, mother. Thank you, that's what I forgot. <laughs> guys, don't ever put bleach directly in your hair without a towel. Oh, we don't want that. That shit burns like something cuts you, if you know what I mean. All right? So now, with the bleach, you have to make sure that it's mixed properly, like evenly. And it looks like my bowl is small for all the three, but I'll make it work. Add more liquid. Because you want it to be nice and smooth and well mixed together. Okay. Hello, everybody. Thanks for joining. Let's do this. About to turn this salt and pepper that you see into a... Gerald! I need another bowl. Put it right there. I need another bowl. It's too small. I'm sorry, y'all. I want it to be like well mixed. I don't want the lumps and the clumps in there. All right, so I'll pour it in the bigger bowl. Those clear ones. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So there I go with my mixture. Remember, I didn't use the 20, but that was my preference, okay? I chose to use the 40. If you have ever permed your hair, or you have any kind of chemical chemical in your hair, please don't use the 40 the first time. Don't say, I saw Eunice using the 40, so I used 40 and I went bald. 
So it's her fault. No, baby. It will not be my fault. My hair has been cut since May of last year. And I have not put in anything in my hair. All right, so I got a bigger bowl. Now let's make sure this bleach is nicely mixed together and it's nice and smooth okay and you don't want it so like thick as see to me this is a little bit too thick so i'll add a little more just a dash of it and mix it up Nice and smooth. Okay. You guys remember I told you about this oil? Whenever you're putting bleach in your hair, it's very advisable. This is a protector. It protects your hair as the bleach is working. It slows down the harshness of the bleach. And it also protects your skin. So before I put the rest in my mixture, I base my hairline, oops, with a little bit of this. It's always good to use like, um, if you have Vaseline or any thick texture um, uh, cream, you could put it on your the borderline of your hair, you know, your edges. Because bleach could be very harsh sometimes. They will burn you like bad. So I just make sure I grease. Oh, <laughs> I said grease. And this is what I'm using. It's a very great protector. Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining. Make sure it goes behind your ears, you know. Anywhere you think the bleach will touch. And very important. You pour a decent amount in your hand. Okay, and then you rub it together and you put it on top of your hair. Now, somebody asked me why. If you have questions, ask me, guys. Ask me questions now that we are all doing it together. You know why I put it on top of my hair? Because my hair is short, number one. I'm doing it myself, number two. So, therefore, I cannot see behind me, number three. So, I don't want to just... Slap it everywhere without knowing that I have put in maybe too much at one spot. So when I put this oil in my hand a little bit, rub it together, and I put it all over my hair. It's just the top because, like I said, my hair is very coarse. So you are not going to be able to reach the root easily. But once I do this with this oil, I know. That if even I put it like a lot at once at one, one spot, I'm not going to damage that spot, the hair on that spot, okay? So now the rest, I put it all in my mixture. Come on, guys. If you're here with me, hi, Sh um, Shanice. How you doing? When you put it all in here, I mean... The rest, after you base your hairline, so, okay? And then you put some on top of your hair, like everywhere. Make sure you get all corners. The rest, you put it in the bleach, right there. As you guys could see. I don't know if you could see. Woo! Okay, I thought it was spilling. You see the oil, right? Put it all in there, and then mix it. I already explained why. You always have to put that in your bleach on your hair and your hair lines is because it's just softened the harshness of the bleach. Boom. Let's go. Whew. I'm about to do it. I'm going in. I'm going in, guys. I'm going in. Wish me luck. <laughs> okay, now. Now, I'd rather start at the spots that are like tough on my hair and my start right here in the middle right there somewhere it's like even those days when i used to perm my hair 
it was so difficult for that side to relax and of course the back so if you notice i didn't start from the front i start from back here somewhere then i whip my way down like this while i'm massaging it in I'll bring the big right home massaging it in okay so that's all i'm doing right now i'm doing all this live with you so if i mess up and my hair fall out you are a witness. You are here. You are to be blamed partly. <laughs> okay, so thank you. Thank you. Um, so yeah, there you go. I'm slapping the bleach in my hair. If you just joined me, I'm using Paul Mitchell Volume 40 developer and Paul Mitchell blue lift to bleach powder okay i mix those two together and i'm about to bleach all my hair and i'm gonna try to achieve the silver white color in the beginning i showed everything that i used so if you missed it when i finished putting in the the bleach I will go back again and explain to you all the product that I'm using. I told you guys my hair is coarse. You know the Africa hair? I have original thick hair. Okay? So, there you go. It's starting to work at some parts. Okay? Yeah, I'm using my hands because... Like I stated earlier, I can't see my back. And I don't want some spot to get it more than the other. So I'm using my fingers to spread it in. Push it down there. You feel me? Okay, so I think um, some of it is beginning to turn already. Now remember, guys, I showed you two of the bleach go on my bed thank you there's a clear plastic bag for me i showed you two of the volume i showed you the 40 and the 12 okay and i did say that if you ever have had chemical in your hair like if you've ever permed your hair texturized it or colored your hair you please do not use the 40. Do not use the 40 and don't say Eunice told you to or you saw Eunice use the 40. See, I think it's turning already and the front is the one that's turning. And that's why I didn't put it in the front first because like I told you guys, the front gets um, um how do you call it? It worked through quicker. So I think at this point, I have it distributed, distributed uh, evenly. Okay, so y'all need to help me because I really can't see. So let me know if it's getting too lighter. <clears throat> and now that I've applied all of it, like, I'm sure it has gotten all the parts. I comb it through. Um, Marcus, put the towel on me. Okay. I'll go ahead and comb through it for even distribution, very evenly. Push it, push it more forward. And this one too. Thank you, baby. I want it to be distributed evenly. So now that I'm done applying the bleach, I'm gonna go ahead and comb it all through. You can see it, it wasn't a texturizer or anything, but you see how it stretched out my hair? That tells you how strong the bleach and the developer is. Because remember, I used the developer 40%, 40 percent, um, 40 volume, which is very strong. I think uh, that's the highest. But I could take that risk because my hair is basically virgin hair. Okay? So as you can see, 
Um, <laughs> okay. As you can see, it's beginning to turn already. It's changing color. Join me, fellows. And if you are here, share this so that your friends could tune in. Because y'all know how I do. After this, I'm going to hook it up. We'll go to the barbershop. Give myself some lines up in there, here and there. And I know once I put the pictures, post it, they're going to ask me, oh, how did you achieve that color? That's why I'm telling you to join me. Because <laughs> when I put, um, I put up pictures, no questions, please. So as you can tell, it's very yellow. <laughs> like it's really blonde. I really, really bleached it. Okay. So I hope I have it. I'll just check behind and see if it's covered everywhere. Okay. Okay. As you can see, it has turned blonde, like completely. Yeah, completely. Now, because I don't want it to overstay and break my hair, Marcus set the um, clock for 10 minutes. And I'm leaving it for 10 minutes just because it's the strong one. Volume 40. All right? Um, if it was 30... Or go to the microwave. Oh. If it was thirty or something, I'm gonna I was going to have to leave it in more than ten minutes. But this is forty. My hair is already bleached. I mean um cut real short and it's already salt and pepper. So oh, ten all I need is ten minutes. Alright. So I just have a lot of the mixture left. And I don't want to throw it away. So I just go ahead and slap it in. <laughs> Not supposed to do that, guys. But I don't do the normal things people do. That's just me. <laughs> okay, so there you go. As you can tell, I'm blonde. Very golden blonde. But that's not the color I'm going for. So I will leave it alone in here. And soon as the 10 minutes come, I'll go wash it out and I'll come and show you guys the results. Now, it's always very important to um, have some heat on the hair before you uh, wash the bleach out. So, I... Uh, don't judge me, but I went the old school way. Got this plastic. I'll put it over it, like so. Okay? Nice and firm. And I will leave it to simmer for 10 minutes. Now, if you just joined me, I'm using Paul Mitchell product. Okay? I have the Paul Mitchell um, shampoo. This one is shampoo two. You use the first one, which is the forty um, forever blonde shampoo. This is the first one you wash your bleach with, and then this is the same Paul Mitchell shampoo, but number two. As you could tell, it says right here, shampoo two. Got to get that. Those two you wash your bleach with. After that, I'm going to use these. Manic Panic, okay? It's called Manic Panic. You can find it everywhere in New York. Paul Mitchell have it, different brands. I will use the blue one first. This is my toners. Cause like you tell, this is like yellow blonde and I'm going for the silver blonde. So what you do is you mix this Manic Panic with a conditioner, okay? You put just a couple of drops in a conditioner, mix it, which I will show you later on, and you put it all over your hair, 
and leave it in for like 25 minutes. After you wash that out, and when you are washing that out, this is what you need to use. Okay? Um, Joyco, this shampoo, and the conditioner. These are the same. It has the same ultraviolet bluish color. And the reason why is because you need that yellow to become as white as possible. So you just don't wash your hair after you put the um, the um, toner in. You don't wash your hair with regular shampoos. You need to wash your hair with this special shampoo. And this shampoo will come in a bluish color, if you could tell. See? Okay? It's like bluish, purplish. It's like that... Um, that shampoo, that old time shampoo, I forgot the name. But um, yeah, and this is the conditioner. The conditioner also have that purplish, light blue color to it, okay? So after you wash your toner out, you need this conditioning shampoo, use it again, wash those out. And then once the toner is out, this is the manic manic panic um, mixture. This is um, it's it's a form of a toner too, but this actually turns your hair from white to the silverish. So I mix a little bit of this and a little bit. This is a liquid white color. Okay, this is a very very good. It's called um, Snow White. Okay, called Snow White. You mix those two with a conditioner after you've washed your um, toner out. You put that on there, leave it for like another 20 minutes, wash it up, and you get your hair as white as possible. Okay. Okay. So... There you go, guys. Um, join me, join me. If you're not here yet, it's going down. It's going down. I am doing my transformation. Okay. I'm doing my transformation from my salt and pepper to silver white. Okay, guys? So this is the outcome of the bleach that I put in, okay? As you can tell, let me go closer. It's like yellowish, orangey blonde. But that's why you need a toner, you know? You need a toner so that your shit will be lit, bright and white, okay? This is a process, people. It's not a joke up in here. It's a process. You have to have time. You have to love to do it. You have to enjoy to do it, else you're going to fuck it up. Now, I hope you guys wrote the products that I just showed you down for future reference because... Um, Silver whitish gray hair is the shit right now. And this summer, it's going to be popping. Like that with short hairstyles are what's going to be coming. Like I'm calling it now. So I'm starting mine. Like no jokes. And like I said, me personally, whenever a tornado hit my house and washes away all the weak foundations... <laughs> wink wink subs when all the weak foundation get washed off I like to start over and the best way for me to start over is chopping off all my hair which I did that you know I did that so now the only thing left is do something drastic like change my hair color and I truly don't want to do black or brown or nothing. 
I've been wanting to do this um, blonde silver look for a while now, but I've always been like either too busy or I don't have the product because, honey, these products are not cheap, baby. The Paul Mitchell brand is very expensive. But that being said, you could go on um, eBay and they have good prizes on eBay. Um, I'm sorry, Amazon, but I did my comparison um, between eBay and Amazon. And eBay was cheaper. So that's where I bought all my products. And um, I will say it again. You need to get the right products. Okay? Oh, girl. You need to get the right product. Everybody think, oh, yeah, I could just get up and bleach my hair. And then when the hair falls out, they don't understand why. Yeah, there are a lot of cheap um, stuff that you could use on, um, you know, the drugstore. You could go to the pharmacy and buy you, like, a bunch of cheap stuff, very cheap, that will bleach your hair. But how is it going to keep it up? Once the process is done, is your hair still going to stay or is it going to fall out? Now, remember, the process like I'm doing right now is the easiest part. Please believe me when I tell you. This is the easiest part. The difficult and the important part is keeping it, you know? You really, really have to... Um, you have to get in there. You have to. 